S100 standards are broken down into different layers. So we have the S101 electronic navigation chart, S102 bathymetry, so that's like the topography uh, of the ocean bed. And then we have S104 and S111. 104 represents the water level heights and 111 the near surface currents. S104, the tidal water levels product specification, what this enables us to do is potentially add that tidal height on top of the bathymetric surface information. By having the S104 water level heights overlaid on top of S102, we will generate a uh, safety contour that will evolve with the tidal heights. So it, it really is a, a game changer. With the surface currents product specification, S111, this is an overlay which can be overlaid on top of the, the navigational data to give you the tidal flow of the surface current. It will give the speed and direction of currents, so that should be fantastic for situational awareness. That will make the operations in the marine environment more safe, uh, reduces the risk of accidents and incidents, and that indirectly protects the marine environment. It can improve navigational safety by opening up restricted channels. And this, for a shipping company, offers significant operational advantages. When the S100 standards are adopted worldwide, uh, this will help facilitate international trade and make it a more attractive investment proposition.